in the chopping, though, aren't it? Like, well, it's just got, it's just picked up again. Typical. Well, thank you. If we sink, we sink, eh? <laughs> <laughs> and you would never have thought that this was here, would you? Not at all. And um, all in all, you just uh, can you see it on the wall? Plink Floyd the way, the wall. Yeah. What? Yeah. Anybody, can't... Anybody's watching, it's lost on Kerry. <laughs> Uh, it's there says, you go, pink, pink Floyd, Floyd the, wall. the yeah, wall. You wouldn't get it because it's. Uh, and it's just basically this. Car park. We don't need no education. That's classy. But that's the that's restaurant. Classy. I'm gonna have it. Bon voyage, Mr. Dave. It's been a pleasure. I'm gonna drink Modellos by myself from now on. Sad times. I'm not crying, you're crying. So Dave left yesterday and we have come back to Tecolote Beach. And we're actually on the other side of the beach. So where we thought we couldn't go, oh, we can go. There is like a road there. So we found it and uh, we just arrived. I think we were approaching these people too much. So fingers crossed that's going to be around. Anyway, uh, it's a bit windy, but it's meant to be really hot tomorrow and Sunday, so that's why I'm going to go to the beach. But this guy with his new haircut. Bonjour. Somebody's grandma cut it with her eyes closed. But seven for grandma, can't complain. Dwayne was like, uh, well, if a grandma can cut my hair, then you can cut my hair. So we're going to get a uh, shaver and you're going to do it next time. So yeah. Yeah. Cheap, cheap, cheap. You can do a better job though. If, you know. if Dwayne's hair starts looking crap. We all know who to blame, yeah. and it's not me, because although I would be doing it, he asked me to do it, so. Right. Anyway, we're going to go chill with this and the wind. And this guy. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, hey, this guy. What are you doing? You want to come out? You want to come out on the beach? Yeah. Here he comes. <laughs> Here he comes! Off he goes! See ya, bye! Adios, amigos! Tecolote, evening number... Two? Correct. Thanks, under a blanket. Yes. Tecolote. 31 degrees today. What a beautiful view that is. Yeah, show them behind. <laughs> this is the real van life of Mexico. So this is beautiful. No, no one really on the beach there. And then I was on with the sky, but Oh oh okay, I'll show them the <laughs> sky as well. And then there's loads of uh, Mexicans here on the beach and sometimes they park right in front of you and play music. But actually, it's their beach too, so I'm not moaning about it, I'm just saying. But yeah, this is a beautiful view with the sun setting over here, but last night we had an awesome sunset. I got a picture of their of their bus to uh send to them, but it was proper red. So yeah, good day. Oh, the ocean, so clear, we're gonna show you tomorrow. Oh, GoPro was not charged. 
It was absolutely <clears throat> ridiculous. So, um, yeah. I do have a little bit of panda eye, actually, you're right. I told you, panda eyes. I don't really... I'm not making cocktails, folks. It's just my electrolytes. <laughs> Dwayne's drinking his cocktail. electrolytes for the day. If you didn't know, I don't know if we've already said, but we're doing the carnivore diet. So, um, I'm going to make it look like a cocktail. It was two weeks today that we started and we're both feeling very good. Dwayne's feeling better than he did. Yeah. Dwayne struggled the first Electrolytes week. definitely help him. Electrolytes, if anyone ever does it, electrolytes are really good because... Sort your stomach out, that's for sure. They help you absorb the water that you're drinking or not drinking, as the case may be. I am drinking, look. I've had two of these today. There's, that's not mixed with water though, is it, babe? It contains water. <laughs> not fully water, granted that. There's some water in it. We are enjoying chilling at Tecolote. <clears throat> it's nice just to relax. We've had a very relaxing day. I've read a whole book and I'm on my second book. And all I've done is lose mm. the rugby and be furious. And he's watched two games of rugby and he's furious because Wales lost, obviously. Surprise, surprise. Here's our surprise face. So yeah, I'm gonna chill, watch the sunset, and then uh, probably go inside and chill, because that's what you do when it gets cold outside. Yeah, eight o'clock, it's bedtime then. It's Baja yeah, midnight. Baja midnight is eight o'clock, so we'll probably It'll be to interesting in to see when we leave this place, to see if like bedtime will be like eight o'clock. Well, it was, it... Even when we first got here, it was exactly eight o'clock. Sometimes we do last a little bit longer, but we wanna be in bed around that time, because it's pitch black at that point. Yeah, you can't see nothing. No, it's not like, well, it's, it's like 5 p.m. now, or 6 p.m. now, yeah. and it's sun setting, and it'll be like pitch black by like half six, seven. So it's, there's no kind of like gradual. It's either all on or all off. Yeah, that's it. And then the sun comes out seven o'clock, bright and early. Mm. But yeah. See you tomorrow for a bit of snorkeling, hopefully. See you Sunday. <laughs> Back. And it's a full moon tonight. How cool that looks. It's Sunday. Look out. It actually is a little bit more rippled than it was like an hour ago. But kayaks back out. And actually, someone else gets to go today. Is it you? You're going to go for a swim. With his new life jacket. He's going to be our little lifeguard. Come on in. <laughs> and I'm going to go swim while these guys go for a little kayak. Don't worry, we're going to take the GoPro with us today. Get a little bit of a look at the clear, crystal clear water. It was, it was crystal clear yesterday, so I think it's going to be the same today. Which is lush. A few people have gone out on their like, kayaks and paddle boards. You would... You wouldn't think it would be this quiet. There's like so many people around on this beach, but it is. So yeah, Dwayne is loving this kayak, by the way, people. So if you're looking for something uh, like a kayak, but you don't have much space for the blow up ones, this doesn't take up much space at all. And it's super light. So yeah, right. Oh man, let's see this dog. I'm a safety dog. Are you ready for a swim, sir? No, I hate you. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's nice, nice life jacket though. Yeah, this life jacket fits him so much nicer. way better than his last one. If anybody ever saw it's him nice in his last snug. one. Yeah, his last nice. one had like a flip over here and it used to flip back in his face, which he hated. So. Look, pause aboard. Pause aboard. <laughs> Our little lifeguard's going to save us. Right. Said no one. <laughs> Let's get in. Let's get in. Yeah. With this on, and it was like, I was like, Ugh. I look a bit um, like I just got out of bed. Because she did. Because I did. Right. Let's do this. Let's do this! Tank's gonna hate this. No, he's gonna love it, right? Love is such a blase word for a tank and a kayak, isn't it? <laughs> but I am making him a little... Uh... You're gonna love it! Are you gonna love it? Are you? Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. I kind of love it. <laughs> no is the answer. I don't see him to sit there. Because he's not going to want to sit on this plastic, is he? No, true. <laughs> I'll take him. We'll see you guys out there. Well, the little lead. Look at this guy. 
I'm an oral dog. And I hate you guys. Look how clear it is. It's insane, isn't it? It is. I mean... Hi, little guy. Pop the camera into water just for resolution wise. Have a look. Right, give the camera back to this guy and I'm gonna go swim. It's gonna be choppy though, isn't it? Like, well, it's just got, it's just picked up again. Typical. Well, thank you. If we sink, we sink, eh? Uh, it's kind of hard work doing the GoPro and doing something else at the same time. So that's the, uh, Stick out. The last thing we need to is a little hole in the oil ring. Right? Anyway. <clears throat> turn around the boat is so light it's just turning me around like incredible and we'll go back over there somewhere not many fish down there I don't think not today thank should we go you ready How clear is it? I can pass with a GoPro. I cannot believe how, how clear this is. This is cruelty to chill out. <laughs> but it cools them off. It does cool them off. It's really hot today, so. And what, you know, I do have a nice uh, soft blankie in here for him. He does. He's got a blankie in there. This is just. <sighs> just another day with you and me in paradise. Oh. Oh. Think twice. Because this is where you want to be in paradise. I feel like Bill Collins was on a kayak singing that. <laughs> Just in this spot. <laughs> it must have been. Couldn't have been anywhere else. Totally agree. Right. Let's get swimming. Just me and Tank flying solo. Jerry's over there somewhere. I'm going to try and check out this bit of a reef or somewhere. It is.
last time we pretty much camped over there. Oh, yeah, and it just wasn't like this. <laughs> I wonder if I can. Uh... <laughs> See that? Yeah, how many people are literally quite long this beach. And it's all super quiet. Everyone just kind of chill. It's like clear in the water. <laughs> Someone's got a drone up. Makes me feel sad every time I hear one Bastards. now. I think this is probably one of my favorite beaches now in Baja because of this situation. And also having the kayak is pretty nice. I would now wish we had two, so maybe we'll have to save up and buy a second one when we want to go out together. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Kayak, past the kayak and everything. I know. I know, it is mental. Insane. Jeez! <laughs> Where's he gone? <laughs> Who would have thought it would be the other way around that he's in there swimming and I'm kayaking? Stop doing that. He keeps trying to like wobble me. <laughs> I would never do that to him in the water. I was wobbling, he I was like just holding on. just jumped on the front and now he's wobbling the side. Like kids. Yeah, he is like a child. Beautiful. Beautiful day for a swim. <laughs> in Tecalote campsite it was a beach <laughs> <laughs> and now we're on our way to La Ventana so we're on, on a road in Baja that Ooh, after that... three months we haven't been on how do you oh. like your coconuts creamy creamy coconut anyone um yeah three months and we haven't been on this road yet so that's kind of it's weird, we were just saying we've been yeah. here forever now and we feel like we've already done the whole of the map. And we really know our way around. But then you're like, oh, we haven't been on this road yet. Nope. So we'll see what it's like when we get to Lavantana. Our hopes, is, this may sound really bad, but like our hopes aren't super high because it's a windsurfing area. So when it's super windy, it's just packed full of windsurfers. It's not that windy this weekend. So our hope is that it's not that packed, but if it is, we'll just probably maybe head down to like Los Barillas Way or something like that. Oh, Los Barillas is also windy, but you know, there's more places to kind of park and we can head then further down. We don't know what we're doing anymore. We've still got three more months, so we're bumbling. Um, we're just bumbling around. Bumbling. So I'll show you Lavantana when we get there. Good morning. 
as always, I did not film when we got here yesterday. Let me get this fly out. Go, go, go. Um, we didn't stop in La Montana because when we went to stop, the um, park up was like literally on a hill. We didn't see anywhere on Overlander. So we came to the Beach of Dreams. Oh, sorry about the makeup all around my face. I literally just got out of bed. Um, it's actually called Death Healing, I think it translates to in um, English, the beach. Um, and basically there's a big car park where the fishermen come. That's a big place, so I'll show you where we are. So there's a restaurant over here. And then here's a nice big place. As you can see, these are all the fishermen. They arrive at like 6.30ish. We did go and look at parking over here. That was a no-go and we went for a nice walk on the beach. Now, there were three boats out here, but there's now two. Just did, I was, was admiring maybe boat life. But what else is um, right over here, you can't kind of see through the, uh, just over here is a, um, a resort, which is why it kind of got called like the beach of dreams. This guy built the resort and he wanted to call this area the beach of dreams to make people come didn't work um we were told to go over there and go to the restaurant because there's like a really cool restaurant with trains going around because he loved tr trains we have not gone and we're actually gonna leave <laughs> i mean it's fine for one night um but we have decided to go and chill on a different beach for this week um so yeah we're gonna go chill for a week and then when we head back down to like Cerritos, Turtle Santos Way, I'll film that and show you guys because we're not really doing much. We're just gonna have some chill time. So yeah, see you in a bit.